Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 3. Well, we're actually ready to get started with the game now. Um, as I mentioned last time, this is a, an intergalactic battle against the Kilrathi, which is a race of, um, I guess you could say, of cats, really, of aggressive cats that want to destroy us and take over the world. Take over all of uh, humanity, basically. But we're not going to allow that to happen. So, uh, we left off here in our hangar. So we're going to go down here and go to flight control. And we have Blair walking up the stairs there. Looking around. Hey, there's Hobbs. Let's see what he has to say. Remember, buddy Hobbs. Now, anytime you run into somebody, check it out. They go off to the side like that and they're just kind of minding their business. Then when you point the cursor over them, they recognize you. And then their face changes and then you can take it off and then they do something differently. So let's talk to Hobbs. Busted wing flaps. But it's great to see you, buddy. Uh, and how is the fine pilot and comrade angel? I don't have a clue. I haven't heard from her in a while. She's on some damn covert off for toll. And... But hey, I got good news for you. I put you back on the fly roster. But I requested. Never mind that. I want you with me on my first mission. Well, there are many brave and noble pilots here. Yeah. When my life's on the line, I want a wingman I can trust. I shall try not to disappoint you, old friend. Well, that was nice. He's making Hobbs feel nice and welcome. Okay, so now we can go to the lift. See, Blair checking things over. He's like, okay, everything's satisfactory here. Let's go to the lift. Okay, and there, oh, there we'll go. Scroff, so you can see this again. Like, oh, does he see me? Does he see me? Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Lieutenant Rollins, calm exec. Welcome aboard. You uh, get the pep talk from the captain yet? <laughs> Something like that. Well, the good news is it won't take too long to shower off the bullshit around here. The captain Rice seems to believe in his ship and in his crew. That kind of attitude's good for morale. Yeah, but well, you haven't been monitoring transmissions like I have. If you did, you would jump sector and then down. Okay, now many often in this, uh, many often times in this game, you you have two options. You can either pl you know play along with him or this guy's a little... you know either you have two options here. So normally um, we can say play along with him. We're kind of new, so we're just gonna go ahead and play along with him. Are you sending commands hiding something from us? Well, I can't say for sure, Colonel. But if you want the straight dope around here, check in with Radio Rollins. Might even save your life. And from what I understand, you know, each each uh, decision you make will affect overall morale of the ship. I'll show you both because all that really matters is I believe it's the last one. So, so then you can just uh, play along. You know, just uh, I'll just escape this from this whole reason. It must be a lot of work carrying all that paranoia around. I suggest you stow it. Oh, oh, you'll be asking for another dose of paranoia from Radio Rollins real soon. You want the straight dope around here? You come to me. I even save your life. So there you go. So I'll, I'll just reset and get the, Play along. the best one. So. Okay, so that's what we can do. Now, we have three different levels. We have the living level, which is... And we're going to go up here. So I'll show you the lift going up. Now, I won't show you this every time, but for the first time, I will. And now we're going to exit the lift in the living area. And Colonel Blair is walking around, checking things out. Hey Hobbs, what's up? Aww. Hey Hobbs, how about going around with me? Bet you a week's pay on one hand. Thank you. No. All right, we have a guy named Vagabond here. Let's uh, see what he has to say. By the way, here's the living area. You can see the bartender in the background kind of just making some drinks and stuff like that. This is the kill board here, so you can see... Ooh, looks like Vagabond's doing pretty well. He's got 10 kills already. That's excellent. Well, let's talk to Vagabond real fast. Welcome aboard, sir. Want to play a hand? 
Since you're the rookie on this boat, I'll let you call the game. <sighs> Not much for protocol, are you? Formalities tend to be forgotten when you spend most of your time just trying to survive. What little spare time we do have, we fill up with other things besides practicing our salutes. Well, I guess you have to adapt to your surroundings. Don't I know that? It's an arch, really. No wonder they call you vagabond. Been doing your homework, I see. <laughs> yeah, I've knocked around some. And yet your combat file is surprisingly brief. What's with the big gaps in your bio? Can I help it if Confed decides to blank my data? He's got a point. What's he hiding? Hmm. Yeah, he's got, got a, point. a point. Yeah, you, you just want to, uh, you know, keep morale on the ship pretty good. Sometimes HQ is as big a mystery to me as the enemy. <laughs> we got a lot of good people here, Colonel. Maybe even those of us with incomplete bios. Just give us a chance. Kind of weird that uh, Colonel Blair's conversations are always very short. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but that guy right there is uh, the he plays the Doctor in um, Lost. Uh, the Doctor, I believe, is Doctor Chang. Also, that's kind of heading up the island or the discoveries in Lost. So, anyways, there you go. We can go to the berths here, the living quarters, if you will, and we can look in the locker. The fight goes well for you and all the others on the Concordia. I'm about to set up for a covert operation with Admiral Tolkien, so I'm afraid we might be apart a little longer. But always remember, just um, I love you. Hmm, obviously she didn't get the memo that the Concordia went down. Huh, okay. Let me, uh, let's go back to the rec room now. Alright, things appear to be in order. Back to the lift. Okay, now we can go up to the bridge level. I just like to do that real quick to fast forward through the the, the elevator scene. Okay, let me check my time real quick, see how I'm doing, and I will be right back. Okay, everything seems to be in order. So, hey, there's Maniac. He looks like he's engaged in conversation and with a female. So let's see what we can go on here. No, I don't have anything better to do. Okay, so. I pulled into a tight loop, locked onto that cat's tail, fired off a heat seeker, boom! Turned him into kitty litter. It was a... All right. Well, well. <laughs> if it isn't the colonel. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I couldn't make your welcoming party. Well, I guess you had more pressing maneuvers to undertake, maniac. When duty calls, I'm there. Women like the smell of success. Uh, you know, I'm surprised you haven't been blown out of the sky by now, maniac. Uh, by friendly fire. Some people appreciate my flying style. I do what's necessary to win, okay? Suppose you still fly with one eye on the rig's manual. I don't take stupid risks. <laughs> yeah, speaking of stupid, I also heard you put Hobbs back on the flight roster. <laughs> my, my. Word travels fast on this time. Never understood what you saw in that cat. Simple. I need a wingman I can cap on. You can't trust someone who will kill their own kind. Who I choose as my wingman is my prerogative. It's a privilege of rank. I'll bet you stay up late nights just polishing it, huh? No, as a matter of fact, I have majors who do that for me. The difference in our rank is a formality. We both know it's better in the cockpit. We do. Let me tell you that story again. So. Yeah. 
You go, Maniac. I I'm proud of you. Okay, we can go into gunnery control here. Where is checking things out, making sure everything's good. Hey, hey, a lady, all right. What's up? Aw, oh, man. Well, shoot. She's pretty cute, too. Okay, well, I guess we better go back to, uh, to, uh, the briefing room. Okay, well, I'm actually going to stop right here and show you the opening cinematics. Next time, we will get into the actual gameplay and how to make this game work. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.